Welcome to another tutorial by Longhorn Physics. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about algebra to be thrown straight up and take on a problem like this. A ball is thrown straight up at 20 meters per second. How long does it take to get to the top of the trajectory, which is the path of the projectile? So before we do that, we want to take a look at the uh, units and symbols and the actual equations that are needed to solve a problem like this. So to solve our problem, we're going to need to use one of the uh, three kinematic equations of motion described earlier in the tutorial. I also call these the uh, three amigos. So we're going to use the first one here. It says the final speed is equal to the initial speed plus acceleration times the time and derive an equation to uh, figure out how long it takes to get to the, to the top. So we got VF equals VI plus AT squared. We know at the top of the trajectory that the final speed has to be zero. And we know the acceleration here is due to gravity. So the time it takes us to uh, get to the top would be negative VI divided by G. And again, since velocity is a vector, and when we throw objects straight up, uh, we'll use positive to go up and negative to go down. Since gravity acts down always, gravity will be negative 9.8, assuming this problem is happening on Earth. And this is the equation we'll use. Next, let's go over the units, because the knowing the equation will do you no good if you have no idea uh, how to match the units with the symbols. Feel free to stop the video and take some notes here. It's from a, the book. This is actually that I wrote called my first physics book. I'll give you more information at the end of the tutorial. But acceleration is meters per second squared. That would be for same thing for gravity. Final speed is meters per second. Initial speed is meters per second. We know time is uh, the symbol for time uses the unit seconds, and meters is what we use for distance in physics. So that's important when you're trying to match the uh, letters in the equation um, and the units. So now let's uh, solve the problem. Uh, what I like to do is uh, make sure the data is very organized. So we got a table here for knowns and unknowns. And a good way to solve problems is to use some type of method or uh, you know, some kind of process to solve them. Here's what I like to do. I uh, look for units in the problem and I see that's an important uh, data. So I see meters per second. I know that's speed. I know that's probably important. And that's my initial speed. And how long is your time? That's what we're looking for. And that's all the data we can get for the problem. So we'll come over here and plug it into our little scratch pad table. We have VI is 20 meters per second. And we're, I'm going to leave that positive because going up is positive and coming down is negative. And gravity, since it acts down, we use a negative 9.8. And then here's our equation um, that we derived a few minutes ago. So we got VI over G. We got minus 20, or it's a negative VI. And then negative 9.8. So in math, the negative is uh, negative and negative is positive. And 20 divided by 9.8 gives you a time of 2.04 seconds to get to the top here. So this tutorial um, is part of, a, of my book called My First Physics Book of Motion. It's a 153-page book that's designed for uh, students new to physics um, from high school to collegiate level. Uh, it makes sure that you uh, learn the fundamentals and terminology units as problem solving uh, and problem solving skills. We show two different methods there uh, for solving problems. Uh, the study guide takes a hands-on approach, has many interactive tables, worksheets, and mini quizzes. And then, of course, uh, you see how this is referenced uh, to the book. It's available at starstudyguide.com or straight at, at amazon.com. I guess typing these keywords will help you find it. But if you go to starstudy.com, spelled with two A's there, you can link to Amazon uh, if you think you want to see more about the book. Uh, 